So when we were conducting our experiments in, in Bangladesh, uh, one, of the other, one of the PIs we were working with uh, told us this very interesting story about that when he was a kid, his teacher would tell him and his peers that the girl's brain, a girl's brain, was half the capacity and the ability of a boy's brain. Of a boy's brain. Uh, we thought that was an interesting story, and I'm telling you this now, uh, because it made us think about what was, what's the actual uh, implication of the research that we were conducting and of the theories that we were testing. Uh, growth mindset, the theory developed by a psychologist at Stanford, is about changing people's underlying beliefs about their own intelligence. It's about making them understand that their brain is just like a muscle and that if you practice more, you can get stronger, you can get smarter. And if people do understand that, they will put more effort and they will perform better in school and in life. So, oh, sorry. So what we did, what we did was a RCT, a randomized controlled trial. That is the best known way to find out causation. And we basically divided the students in, in Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, in three different groups. And we made them in, so, in a random way, such that each group was very similar to each other. Uh, the first group was a control. Then we had a placebo and the treatment. And the placebo and the treatment, they received this weekly one-hour uh, sessions on growth mindset, teaching them about the value of effort and of how uh, your brain can change and adapt as you learn. Uh, then we collected data on six math quizzes that our team uh, designed, of course, based on the content of their uh, math classes. Uh, and we also collected school attendance and teachers' reports and social economic indicators of their families. Not only that, we also asked them who were their friends, uh, if they had family members in the school, um, what, uh, who they respected in the school, and what were uh, like other information about their friends, so that we could have a network map inside the classroom, and we could see if our intervention was more or less effective according to the group. Um, the difference between placebo and treatment is actually very simple. Uh, in the placebo group, we gave the, the, uh, the, just a growth mindset. Uh, we taught them about it uh, and the value of effort. While well, the placebo, uh, because some psychologists believe that the neuroscience part, so teaching them, teaching them about neuroplasticity is actually the most important thing, we wanted to test that uh, because we believe that if you're making a claim about education, you have to test it with data. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we're actually only in the very early stages of our data analysis. So our preliminary regressions show that the treatment group displayed a slightly larger effect than our, um, than our control group. It's not very big and not very statistically significant, but it's actually quite practically significant when you take into consideration the financial cost of helping students out in developing countries. Because we actually displayed a slightly higher increase in, in quiz scores than um, giving out scholarships could. So that means be because implementing growth mindsets is a lot cheaper than handing out scholarships to everyone in the school, it might be a better idea to actually implement our intervention than giving out money. And uh, we also found that some subgroups experienced stronger effects than others. Like the story we told very early on showed, we found that boys experienced three to four times the effect that girls did experience, which is actually quite sad. So that ties nicely to our future steps. So we would like to first investigate whether there are a lot of differences in treatment results between different subgroups. Apart from gender, we can look at their friends. So whether or not you're friends with somebody in the treatment group would give you higher scores, or your socioeconomic background, things like that. We'd also, we will also want to look at whether treatment had effect on other things apart from our, um, our six math quizzes. So for example, did we have an influence on their belief in their own ability to study harder? Or did we have an influence on their regular grades like their math or their English class grades overall? Lastly, we would like to investigate possible spillovers. So if you're friends with somebody in the treatment group, which you, you guys might have conversations with each other, and would that make your grades a lot higher than somebody who really did not have friends in the treatment group? And we would like to thank our team, our partners in Bangladesh, and especially our team leader, Tom. Thank you very much. <laughs>